Hey, this is David and uh, Big William here from the Shepherd School. And uh, here recently we were looking for some new things to show you and uh, stumbled on some interesting ways of cooking bacon. And uh, we tried this once and, and lost the tape. Uh, so William got to experience bacon already. But uh, we like bacon and since I lost tape we're going to try this again. So basically we've got four different ways of cooking bacon and uh, I could have done four different videos but hey it's bacon so we're going to do one big one uh, because that's how you do it. So anyway, um, normally people cook bacon on the skillet, right? You get the skillet, you get your fork, you waving at everybody? You uh, get the skillet, you cook it on, on, the, uh, on the oven and everything works real good. And some people do it in the oven, some people do it in the microwave, um, some people do it on the George Foreman grill, and all that stuff works real good. But when we do it in the skillet, we're going to add a little bit of water. And uh, we'll explain why in just a second. But we're going to cook bacon in the microwave, on the George Foreman grill, in the oven, and on the skillet would after we fill the uh, the skillet up with water and we're going to see which one looks best and which one uh, tastes best and, and big william right here is going to be our taste tester so uh let's get to it so cooking this bacon we're going to uh, cover the bacon with some water okay and then we're going to put it on the uh, stove eye Basically what's going to happen is that's going to parboil. Uh, you don't have to watch it and it's going to cook until the water uh, boils out and that's then the, the uh, bacon will then be fully cooked. You'll know that because once the uh, water boils out it's going to start um, crackling and popping just like you know normal. And so then you just have to cook it to the desired doneness till it's brown as you want. But that what this does is it lets you do other things and not have to worry about burning your bacon, right? And we've got the oven. And there's a couple ways of doing this. You can um, put your bacon in the oven on a cookie sheet and then turn it to 400 degrees and then let it cook. Uh, if you do that, starting from a from a cold oven the bacon's going to cook as it preheats and then when it gets to 400 you only need a couple do, uh, a couple minutes in it but we preheated it to 375 and we've laid our bacon out on a cookie sheet and i put some parchment paper in here last time we didn't use parchment paper some of the bacon stuck to the uh, pot i have heard or seen people do this with aluminum foil but that makes kind of a mess okay and we have to watch the tripod because the little boo wants the tripod so we're going to stick that in and it's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes okay now over here at the microwave we've got a plate microwave safe plate with two layers of paper towels and our bacon and then we're going to put another towel over it and we're going to microwave it for about five minutes check it and uh, Rotate it maybe depending on the uh, on the microwave you might have to do it another five minutes But in our oven last time five minutes was good. It made it real good And then lastly we have the George Foreman And I've got some bacon here and we cut it in half so it'd be perfect size for our BLTs And you will. I. And we'll have to flip that after a couple minutes because it won't brown on both sides. Okay. And our skillet's starting to uh, to boil away. Okay, five minutes. Let's check it. Last time I did that, I burned myself. You fooled me once. Nice crispy bacon. Let me know when you need a taste tester. Microwaving is not probably the best way of cooking stuff. 
and it's a little wasteful of the plates and the paper towels and stuff. But it's the easiest and quickest. Let's check the George Foreman. This is also pretty close to being done. We'll flip it. Now, as far as the grease goes, here's a little thing for like cooking a George Foreman or, or in a skillet or something. You can tell when it's starting close to be done because the consistency and the color of the of the grease is going to change. When it first comes off, it's going to be a little thicker, but it's going to get a lot more water, a lot more thin as the bacon gets almost done. Okay. Another little trick or another little thing to know about bacon. See how your bacon kind of curls up? It's caused from uneven heating, and because we're parboiling. <laughs> There's a lot less um, curlage here because the, the water makes everything cook evenly, right? As a bonus in our bacon cooking adventures, I've woven some bacon, you know, four strips kind of in a, uh, in a little pattern, little basket weave. That way your BLT will, will be perfect. We'll go ahead and microwave that a little bit. There is our uh, microwave woven uh, basket weave bacon. And uh, normally I think I would probably eat that, but since Mother's Day is tomorrow, I'm probably going to, uh, to give that up. So uh, uh, can't say I didn't do something nice for Mother's Day. Okay, so you can hear it bubbling now. So the water's gone, most of the water's gone. And I'll give you one more tip about cooking bacon. As it bubbles, you see it's got a lot of big bubbles, like on the sides. As it uh, gets cooked, you'll get smaller and smaller bubbles, and they'll be on the actual piece of bacon, right? So big bubbles means it's still cooking. Smaller bubbles means that it's, it's closer to being done, right? After about 15 minutes, the parchment paper bacon is done. And there we go. Um, this is microwave bacon, George Foreman bacon, oven bacon, skillet bacon. And guess what? It's all bacon. Hey. Little guy's never had any bacon before. No oh, piece? You like it? Want more? <laughs> hey. Eat it. William. Look this way. Oh, he's looking at the kitty. Hey, want more? Want more? One more. Say more. Good job. More. Here we go. Mm -hmm. He wants to feed himself. Okay, so there you go. Jenny liked it. William liked it. I like it. It's all good. Until next time, go catch us online. www.tngun.com.